and welcome to WRPB and WRPB Studios. Okay, so I have two people sitting next to me. The young lady is sitting right next to me. I probably know about 20 years. And I've seen her go through a million transitions. The one thing that always stayed static with her was her love for music and how good she was at that. So with next to me is Fonda Cash and Billy D. Lindley. That's correct. I get it right? Yes, you do. It's amazing when you get this old that you remember shit. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you guys now have a touring um, group? Yes. Yeah, touring tribute band. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it is called? Petty Nix. And if you, if you couldn't guess which one is which, okay, you need to go see an ophthalmologist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why do you go that route? Why Petty Nix? Why Petty Nix? Uh, well, Petty Nix is a, about a huge love for Stevie Nix. Uh, okay. My entire life, uh, more the '80s Stevie Nix is is the person that I loved and sat in front of the TV and watched, you know, her <laughs> music videos and was in awe over her style and vocals and just everything about her. Um, so I started, I guess, uh, back in like. 2013 I was I had a duo partner which you probably remember mm -hmm. back then that I I used to perform with and uh, whenever I would do Stevie Nicks you know live people would always come up to the stage and go my god you sound just like Stevie Nicks you know and um, you know so we kind of started toying with the idea he, he did a pretty good Tom Petty back then uh, my previous partner and so we were toying with the idea of to build a tribute band you know and we went through a lot of really stupid and silly names, you know, uh, trying to, Those you know, put names together names. like, uh, you know, refugee, gypsy, or stupid things like that. But, you know, and then uh, we came up with the name uh, Petty Nix, and uh, I loved it. And so we decided to call the band Petty Nix, you know. Okay. So, <clears throat> obviously, what did you think about the whole scenario? Well, my take on Petty, I can just tell you this, is... is the music is plurific, as far as I'm concerned. Like his songwriting is amazing, and he just—I um, loved it in the '80s. And everybody's like, "Man, you sound just like Tom Petty." You should do a Tom Petty tribute. And I looked at it because I did all these other tributes, and they're like, "Yeah, but you do a Journey tribute." And I said, "Well, Steve Perry's not in Journey anymore. You do Bon Jovi tribute." And I said, "He don't sing like he used to." You do Bad Company. I said, I do 70s Bad Company, and that's when Paul Rogers wasn't in there. That was uh, the other guy. You know what I'm talking about. And uh, and then I do Foreigner, and Lou Graham wasn't in there. And I said, well, that's why I'm doing that one. I said, but Tom Petty has remained true throughout his entire career as who Tom Petty is. And I've sat there and watched other Tom Petty tribute bands basically butcher it, you know, and I'm not going to go into any names or what goes on, but it's just not done right, you know. And it doesn't do it any justice. And I said, well, if he ever stops doing what he's doing, then I'll jump in there and, and take it back to that, you know, that 80s, 90s era when he was in his just absolute heyday, especially with Stevie Nicks. And so I decided to go ahead once he died and, and look for you know something going on and i just kind of gave up on it journey was a big thing and we're still out there touring a lot too yeah. my journey tribute and uh she came to a journey tribute show actually uh, <laughs> be a friend of her my drummer at the time and uh well i didn't have time to talk to anybody we were having little monitor issues that night but anyway she had texted me later on and said hey you being in the tribute circle do you know anybody that can play or, uh, the role of Tom Petty? And I said, I do. She said, what? You do Tom Petty? I said, yeah. On top of Journey? I said, yeah. She said, yeah, but you don't play guitar, do you? And I said, I do play guitar, too, as well. She said, oh, no, I'm in trouble. <laughs> and I said, well, what do you do? And she's like, well, I do a Stevie Nicks. Here's a link and everything. And I'm thinking, oh, no, I've got to listen to another person try to imitate <laughs> Stevie Nicks' voice, Tony Tambor. And I'm like, okay. There are those that get close. There hasn't been anyone I've heard nail it um, tonally and, you know, with the inflection that she had in the 80s and 90s herself um, as she does. Okay, so I know you forever, and you were a, v a voice coach, right? 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I had a music school, yeah. Bonnie yeah. Cash Music, so, I had a lot of students. And I think that that would have played to her benefit that she can have a range more than others. I, again, I'm green when it comes to this stuff, so I'm just talking it's like someone who's green. Am I like right in that yeah. scenario? Well, I'll jump in here and say this. It, it didn't have to do with the range, though she does have an amazing range and different voices that she can sing to as well as myself, but she has that Stevie Nicks tone, you know, that timbre and everything. She sounds like Stevie Nicks when she sings. So when I heard it, I kind of replied back to her and I said, well, I'm in trouble too because here's the Stevie Nicks I was looking for. For me to get off of, you know, where I was sitting on the Tom Petty part and say, okay, now it's time. And she just so happened to have the perfect name for years and years and I'm just like, you can't get really any more perfect than that. So away we went. Yeah, it took us about uh, two weeks of talking on the phone and then yep. we got together and we cut our first uh, you know, promo video and we went out and started booking shows and what's, pretty awesome. What's Stevie Nicks' most popular song? Oh, geez, what's her most popular song? Yeah. Gee. That's a loaded question. <laughs> geez, uh, Landslide, Gypsy, no. Dreams. Probably Dreams is her most popular song uh, worldwide. That's the one that's probably resurfaced. It, it's, that would not be my, my pick or my favorite Which Stevie would be Nicks. Oh, the ones are really, as I said, I'm, I'm a huge lover of the 80s Stevie Nicks. Okay. Um, I became more of a Fleetwood Mac lover <coughs> once I took on the role of playing Stevie Nicks in this band because. Um, the fans, you know, wanted to hear a lot of the Fleetwood Mac songs as well. Obviously. Um, so, you know, for me, I, I, you know, definitely stand back. If anyone yeah. falls, uh, talk to me. Uh, those are some of my favorites from the 80s, you know, but I absolutely love singing the song Sarah. Okay. Love singing the song Sarah, and, and I love Landslide. I mean, I, I love every Stevie Nicks song. It, it's just magical. She's one, amazing. Yeah. What about Tom Petty? I mean, what's your favorite one to sing? There's too many to call a favorite, play? but if I if I had to tell you what really got me into Tom Petty was probably You Got Lucky yeah. with that, you know, that <laughs> you know good, bad, and ugly guitar part in there on, you know, the Bixby bar. It's just it's so good. And then, uh, you know, Don't Come Around Here No More. That was a great song. I, I just loved his stuff in the 80s, which um, none of them, you know, growing up, no one really had any Tom Petty records, and we didn't really have any records to begin with. You know, my, my brother had some records, and a uh, half-brother, and he's a uh, Kiss, Queen, and Meatloaf, and stuff like that. And I'm like, that's good. I never heard of Petty until the 80s when it came on the radio, you know, because we didn't have music records and stuff. That's the only way I heard it. Then I started listening to his other stuff that he had, and I got a hold of Damn the Torpedoes, and I was like, I'm hooked. And when when you're doing a tribute, man, and you break it all apart into these pieces, it's terrific, man. So, it is some insane yes. writing from people that don't really, you know, they've never been in music school or anything. They right. just, they play. Where do you, I mean, where does your tribute band play? Not dates, but where where have you played? No, um, well, actually, we we're, we play theaters mostly. Uh, okay. We play like the World Equestrian Center. Okay. Um, you know, we play at uh, theaters. You know, without giving. I mean, you want me to give you names and stuff of it different theaters? Good. You know I that mean, we I was play. Just curious, um, is we it played, local, we've done, is it national. Yeah. No, we're national. We're national now. Yeah. Locally, uh, we played at a we play at a venue called Terra Formata. And I know Stuart. Terra Formata right here. Yeah, we do we do shows at Terra Formata. Um, Lyric Theater, we played the Lyric Theater. Um, as I said, he's in many, we play Summer Crush Vineyard um, Summer, a lot. I know Summer Crush go there. Yeah, we, we right. do a lot of shows at Summer Crush Vineyard, but now we're taking it on the road, so we'll be going from, the tour starts in Florida and it goes up to Michigan and back, and that starts in oh. September, so. That's cool. So, yeah. what's interesting to me is, so you mentioned Terra Formata. Do you like playing there? You know, I it's do. It's a tough venue. I know that. I can tell you that right now, not even being a musician. I will. I love it. Here's the deal. The, the, supposedly the ca capacity is supposed to be about 300 there mm -hmm. at Terra Fumata. And, <laughs> and when we played there, I think our last time we sold 860 tickets at Terra Fumata. Oh, wow. So the road, uh, everybody was like packed against the stage and all the way out into the street. And it just looked like a big yeah. sea of people. It was amazing. Yeah, we got and it was only 806, but it was amazing. It's, and, a tough, uh, it's a tough venue in my eyes because it's outdoors. Yeah. It's yeah. hot. Well, but they show up for it. 860 packed in like sardines yeah. in that you heat. You have to pick your season, man. You know, yeah, you know. I, mean, I would think so. And right um, now, no. 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so what's the future for you guys? Oh, guys, a limit on amazing that. Amazing things. Yeah. Uh, like I said, okay. we are we are officially a national touring band now. So, okay. um, our goal we would like you know to go uh, and you know global with Petty Nicks. Okay. And our goal and our mission is to be the number one top tribute. Okay, so because we're running out of time, I have one more question to ask you in this segment, <coughs> and that's doing covers. Mm -hmm. How is there any dealings that you have to deal with with like ASCAP, CSAC, BMI? Sometimes. Uh, I mean, actually, I think you had a couple things with your journey, Ben. Have you not with certain yeah, things? Yeah, there's there's some gray area there that you you know. I mean, because I know YouTube from, make it. You know. YouTube makes it tough. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me why they are so anal about some of the things that well, yeah. they make you do. Well, for us, uh, when we when we do our, obviously we perform our own music, so it's us performing, and mm -hmm. we make sure that when we do post anything that we let everybody know we do not own the rights to the music performed, you know? Yeah. And we give credit to the artists who wrote these songs, which is Stevie Nicks and Tom Petty. You know, we're paying tribute the to them yeah. and um, honoring, you know, their music and, and you know, so we make it very clear that it's not our music when we're out there. Okay. Uh, you know, to everybody, yeah, and I mean, that we are—we're just putting our best foot forward to give a tribute because I mean, we really love them. And, and I get it because I do—I'm a certified YouTube partner. I deal with a lot of people in the music industry. Yeah. <clears throat> and I know my hardest time is with YouTube, and I'm blessed that um, I'm a YouTube partner. So I might get a copyright claim, mm -hmm. but I don't get any copyright strikes. So. Right, I'll get a lot of claims like you. Yeah. They'll say, uh, but that's fine, and they're allowed to have it. it yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. <coughs> All right. How do people find you? You have a, a website. Uh, yeah. Actually, that's in the process of being created. That's going to be pettynicks.com, and yeah. we currently have an Instagram and a Facebook page, which is Petty Nicks Tribute. Cool. Everybody, you know, tribute bands are just like all over the place now, and if you like the music of. Stevie Nicks or Tom Petty or any other group, some of these tribute bands are amazing and it's a great night out for you to enjoy your time listening to music that you like because that band or that group or that person is probably playing in Detroit or California. Why give up on what you can have and enjoy the music that you love? with people who are super talented. I want to thank you guys for coming on. Thank you very thank much you. for All having right. us. Everybody, we'll be right back. Check them out.